Hey everyone, Michelle Alexandria here. I know I said I'm 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 quitting YouTube, but I'm back. I I can't help myself. There are things I want to talk about. There are just things I want to talk about. However, I am cutting back on on the number of videos I do just because of uh, YouTube's draconian copyright policies. I won my battle with Fox today, but it's still just the principle of the matter. These companies ask me to post post clips and everything and do the reviews of their products, but then I get banned and blocked by YouTube the second it goes live. It's driving me nuts. But anyway, I want to talk to you about Vizio's brand new Dolby Atmos sound, soundbar system that just came out this this week. I actually bought it on from Best Buy and it was delivered today. I would do an unboxing However, for some reason, there's something, uh, I don't have enough counter space where I can properly unbox something. So until I get my studio set up, I can't unbox big ticket items like sound bars. So I'm trying something different. I'm trying to record my screen here and just talk you through this. And now I know you're saying, but Michelle, just two months ago, you bought the Sony HTZ9F Dolby Atmos sound bar system. Well, honestly, I'm not a big fan of that system. I still got to do a, re a proper review of it, and I will probably do that in the next couple of weeks. But at $8.99, it's expensive as hell, and it doesn't really deliver. I mean, it sounds really nice. It gives you a nice bit punchy sound, but I don't feel like it's giving me Dolby Atmos sound at all. It's just giving me a bit wall of sound from the front. And I think it's really ridiculous that they're charging $300 for the rear speakers to go with that at $899. So all year, I've been looking forward to uh, seeing what Vizio comes up with. And they had themselves a winner on paper because on paper, this system is really nice. You get the full speaker system and you get two, uh, two rear surround chips surround sounds they also have built-in up firing speakers so they have up firing speakers right here right here and then they have the regular rear speakers right here so you get a full 5.1.4 surround sound Dolby Atmos surround sound system and the price is stunning it's $4.99 so this system cost me $4.99 plus $30 in tax so you're looking at about $527 that I paid for this so I'm really looking forward to giving this thing a world when I got it. The box is actually really pretty small. So I am kind of in, I'm kind of really impressed with that. And I'm really impressed with the price. So at $4.99, you can put up with a lot of stuff for a 5.1.4 surround sound system at $4.99. That is a great price for a sound bar system. I think any sound bar system that's over $500 is just way too much money and unfortunately most Dolby Atmos sound bars are over eight hundred dollars I mean the cheapest one I found was what the cheapest one I found was the Ankyo sound bar system that I tried out last year or two years ago and that one was 400 bucks and that was a really nice system they had four built-in HDMI inputs they had this the thing I didn't like about it was they didn't have rear rear channel speakers and the sound was really was really reedy, so it the and the bass wasn't punchy. But feature for feature, I kind of like that system. But I am really interested in in taking this video through its paces. And one of the reasons again why I really like it is again you get the full sound bar right here, and then you have the two full uh, wired the two um the two semi wireless rear speakers. And then you have a speaker up here and a speaker up here. So you actually have the true bounce. You're going to get the true bounce. And over here you have, and on the sound bar itself, you have three uh, speakers. So you have two up firing speakers over here. And then you also have a rear, a center channel speaker right here. And then you have the rear sub. And for once, I'm going to put this, try to put the sub right next to my couch. So I'm going to try to, try to do this duplicate duplicate this setup right here and sorry if I sound weird but uh, I need to drink a water or tea or something because I'm sounding a little muffled and mumbled here so let me just take a sip so um, I want to I want to play a clip but I'm scared to because YouTube's just gonna uh, is just gonna block me and ban me but as you can see this 
this uh this soundbar had the soundbar has one, two, three front firing speakers plus these two up firing speakers. So that's five speakers right there. And then the sub, it has the subwoofer. And then it has two these two rears. So so as you can see there's a speaker there and a speaker there that goes up to, that at, so it's basically like up to four channels, as it says, and um, so it's really nice. I'm really happy with. I'm I'm hoping to be really happy with this. And it also has it works with Google Assistant, which I really don't use. Um, and the one thing it has that I don't like is the crappy remote. Um, it's the crappy Vizio remote. Several years ago, Vizio sent me the soundbar system. And the remote was the thing that I hated the most about it because it had the remote has all the LED, LCD LEDs built into the remote, but it's so tiny and dark you can't see what's happening. So they might as well not even include it. But this is the system I bought, which is the 5.1.2, and it has eight cha- it has eight channels, eight for five hundred dollars. Come on, people! And it has five channel five channel soundbar. With two up firing speakers, a rear and rear surround sound speakers, wireless subwoofer, and it's all for five hundred dollars. Now, the thing that kind of pisses me off, that really upsets me, is the simple fact that Vizio is now coming out with additional Dolby Atmos soundbars. So they actually have, and why can I not get this to move? I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get the scroll. So here, learn. Let's go to learn more and see if I can get it. But Vizio is coming out with two more soundbars. They're coming out with the insane like ten or twelve channel soundbar, Dolby Atmos sound system in the next couple of month, couple of weeks, and and one more sound setup. And it, it's ridiculous. Why can't they just come out with one and call it a day? I hate waiting for stuff. And we waited, and I waited all year for this sound bar setup to come out. And I couldn't wait anymore, which is why I went ahead and bought that Sony. Um, but yeah, I don't understand Vizio's marketing and why they're waiting so, to, so late in the year to release stuff. But the one thing I do like about that is they're releasing stuff when it's ready. They're not releasing stuff early. And telling us we're going to give firmware stuff. Why? Oh, that is not intuitive at all. <laughs> That's not intuitive at all. So, um, so yeah, they're releasing. So they're releasing stuff when it's ready. So I appreciate that. So here, this is the five point one two system that I bought. Now they have this ten channel system that's coming out soon. And again, I'm not quite sure what the difference between the 5.12 is and the 5.14 is. I'm assuming the sound bar is larger, which you can definitely tell already that it's going to be larger. And this has 10 channels. And then they have a 6-channel Dolby Atmos coming out. So yeah, I think the 8-channel is going to hit the sweet spot. And next year, and in the coming weeks, I'm going to start doing some videos on this as much as I can. I, again, considering the fact that YouTube keeps blocking everything I do, which is making it really difficult. But, yeah, this the purpose of, of this video is just to let you guys know that I actually did buy this soundbar. And I'm going to be doing some reviews on it. And it's actually available right now. It just came out a couple of days ago. And I bought it on day one. And it was delivered today. And I'm looking forward to playing with it. And again, it's a five hundred deep. It's a five hundred dollar sound bar, and le- and actually, let's see uh, what the specs are. And and let me tell let me tell you, Vizio's website is annoying <laughs> because I, I just want to see what the specs are. So let's see if I can find find the specs on this site. Let's go. I know it supports Dolby Atmos, and clearly it's going to support. It's going to support audio so let's see Dolby Atmos overview audio quality control so yeah it's not even telling you what it supports I will have to go look at the box and tell you uh, what it supports I know it supports obviously it supports Dolby Atmos and Dolby audio now I don't know but it's not telling me anything else about this so let's go shop now here 
shop now. Buy the. I'm not getting frustrated, people. I'm not gonna get frustrated. So yeah, the sound bar is a 36 inch sound bar. And ah, test specs. Let's take a look at the test specs. So if you go over here again, total number of speakers, eight speakers, sound bar speakers, five speakers. I'm not sure what the difference is between those two numbers. Um, let's see. Sound enhancement technology, video, Vizio Smartcast, Dolby Digital, DTS Virtual X, and then five, so it's a 5.1.2 uh, wall mountable, and it includes a remote, LCD, and the LCD display, displays on a crappy remote, uh, connections, let's see, audio, and it also has one, it has one HDMI input, which sucks, but one is better than none, I suppose, but I would rather have two or three. I wish these manufacturers would realize that people buy these things and they have like more than two, one or two devices that they want to connect up, but I'll try to make this work. It's one of the reasons why I'm really glad I have an LG OLED TV because it has four proper ports. So I can add one more port to the um, sound bar. So that's not, that's not horrible, but it's not good either. Um, so it has HDMI arc in it, and, and I talked to Vizio's press people, and the HDMI arc port does support Dolby Vision and full band, full fat, uh, full fat HDMI 2.0B. Um, so I want to play around with that and confirm that over the next week. And let's see what does it tell you what the audio quality is, what audio it supports. Optical, it has optical, it has optical input, digital audio input, uh, HDMI, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, HDMI art, IR receiver, very, very nice feature set. Um, but I don't see where, so yeah, this is kind of, this is a little iffy because it doesn't tell you what, if it supports DTX or not. And I really want to support DTX. But that's not a format I'm going to really care about all that much. Um, I'm not even sure I really care about Dolby Vision anymore. I mean, or Dolby Atmos anymore because I'm finding out, I'm starting to really realize that Dolby Atmos on the soundbar is just stupid and kind of an oxymoron. But here's the back of the system right here. So here's the back. Let's take a look. This is a terrible website, by the way. So here's the back. You have your optical, your auxiliary port, your AC, and here is. I actually like doing. I actually like doing the video. Of this doing these oh, unboxings and stuff this way. This is really nice <laughs> because you actually get a bit. A, so this is the remote I was telling you about. Um, I had this remote with my old Vizio sound system, which I really loved. It was. Uh, it was a uh, old school surround five point five channel surround system. Sounded really nice. I ended up giving it to my brother when I got into all this four K nonsense. Um, and so this is really nice. Um, and but the remote is way too small and it's annoying. And as you can see, the LCD panel is really small as well. And this picture doesn't do the size justice. So when I open it up, get everything set up, I'll show you guys the remote. Over here you have the back the back of the system and it uses regular plus which is really nice where whereas the LG wireless wireless speakers actually use wires um, speaker wire and I had no idea how to use the speaker wires so that's one of the reasons why I could never get that thing to properly work and then on the front on the front you have your buttons so you're gonna have your volume buttons right here your power button and your Bluetooth indicator, and I don't know what that's going to do, but I will find out. And then let's go here, and again, this is the back of the subwoofer, the woof woof. You got your AC in, you, and I guess you plug your surround sound. So basically what's going to end up happening is I'm going to put the put the, sub, the wireless subwoofer by my couch, and then hook up the surround sound to, directly to the sub. To, Subwoofer, but I wish these were fully wired speakers. That's one of the things I really loved about the Samsung setup was the Samsung setup was fully wired speakers. 
and it, and then you can actually add additional speakers. So you can have up to eight wireless speakers throughout your house with the throughout your living room or throughout your house with the damn sun setup, which was a really nice perk. The only thing I didn't like about the damn sun setup was the lack of an LCD. If it had an LCD, I would have kept that system because it sounded really it sounded really nice. I love that system, but again, at nine hundred dollars, it was just way too much money. Um, so yeah, this is the Vizio. This is Vizio's brand new Dolby Atmos soundbar setup, and I have it. I have it in my hot little hands, and I will be playing with this pretty darn soon. Over the next few days, I'm going to hook it up. I'm going to hook it up to my brand new uh, Panasonic UB820 uh, U UHD player, which I also have to review. So I'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks. And in the meantime, I'm also watching a whole bunch of television pilots. And I watched almost every new show that's premiering next week. So I'm trying to get those reviews written up. And I hope to do some videos on them. But I'm not sure how to do it with YouTube blocking everything I do. So anyway, look for those in the next week or two because there's a whole lot of cool stuff coming up on this on the site at, at EclipseMagazine.com and on this YouTube channel, which is my name, Michelle Alexandria. And if you want to find me on, on Twitter, go to Eclipse Magazine. That's all you have to do. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.